Hi there, I'm Tino Cubing, and thank you so much for joining me here on the Q&A couch. In this video, I'm going to be answering your burning hot questions. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. The first question comes from Yashi Cubes. If you could only solve one event for the rest of your life, which event would you choose? This is really hard. I'm gonna have to go with three by three. The second question comes from Twisty Cuba, who asks, what's your favorite color of grass? I like all the colors. If that grass is an RGB, pff, get out of my sight, put some concrete over that. The next question comes from Nova Cuba, who asks, did anyone inspire you to make your cubing skits? Hmm. Obligatory Q&A chin rub. Hmm. Well, I'm actually the first person ever to make cubing skits, so there's no chance I was inspired by anyone. I literally created and pioneered the whole medium of skits and sketches on all of YouTube. So, no, I wasn't inspired by anyone. Please, colorful pockets, come back. The next one comes from the Permfect Cuba. I see what you did there. Banana or easy cubing? I never thought I would have a decision this hard, especially just in a q and I'm going to have to say yes. The Perfect Cuba also asks, what would you do if there are 100,000 easy cubing? I wouldn't make 100,000 diss tracks. But seriously, if there were 100,000 easy cubings, I think the world would be a much better place. Leo Cow asks, how to get better in 4x4? What you have to understand is that 4x4 is more than just a puzzle. It's more than just a WCA event. 4x4 is a way of life. You have to train and train hard. Become one with the 4x4. Meditate with it. Learn it inside out like the back of your hand. That's a really bad analogy. Well, what, what I'm trying to say is that 4x4 is really hard to get good at. Like, you should just try skewball pyraminx or 2x2 or literally any event that takes no effort. KVS... KV, KV, K, KVS, KVS Cuba asks, can you buy me a Felix Zemdegs body pillow? Well, actually, not many people know this, but Felix Zemdegs does actually sell them exclusively in Australia. So if you hit me up with your details, I can get you one cent. Rude asks, what is a fruit? Yellow, curved, filled with potassium, but it's not a banana. I really don't know. <laughs> Dachi YouTube asks, what's your favorite tooth? I don't play favorites. I'm going to be honest. All of my teeth are like my children. I love them all equally. But if I had to pick one, it would be this guy. He's gotten me through a lot of tough times. Hey boy, hey boy. Alexander Crush asks, what is the best music to listen to? Piano, guitar, or UA Shout EDM? Well, that's what I love about the EDM. You can actually listen to any music on it. It has a built-in MP3 system that's on par with Spotify Premium. And, uh, well, you can listen to piano and guitar there. Literally anything. You can listen to your favorite YouTube videos, your favorite podcasts, everything. Hashtag ad. QB Encoded asks, how do I actually get good at making videos? Help. Look, man, don't be so down on yourself, okay? You make great videos. Granted, not often, but when you do make videos, they're alright, okay? You know what? This is not sounding as good as it did in my head. I'm s I'm sorry, QB Encoded, look. And finally, what you've all been waiting for, the last finale, the final question of this Q&A, that's right, this is gonna wrap it up. The big climax comes from Skykiller Non. Do you like the X-Men Bell? That, that's the final question? That's the best one you could find for me to fi No, I, I don't like the X-Men bell. So guys, that's going to wrap up this Q&A. Thank you so much for all your questions, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you very much again for joining me here on the Q&A couch out in Mother Nature. I hope your questions got answered, and I hope you can leave some more for me next time in the comments. Thanks, guys. See ya. I love cars, especially when I'm filming.